there are lots of ways for businesses to save water and money, and some options are less obvious than others. For big businesses, one of the highest water use areas, believe it or not, is the air conditioning system. Buildings with air conditioning systems that are operated through a cooling tower, like this one, can be responsible for up to 50% of the site's water use. To understand this and how a cooling tower works, let's take a closer look. Simply put, a cooling tower is a heat exchanger that cycles water for the operation of air conditioning systems in buildings and for industrial machinery. The heat is removed through evaporation and cooled water is pumped back through the air conditioning system. Warm water flowing back from the air conditioner is pumped to the top of the cooling tower where it is evenly dispersed over the tower pattern. The tower's extractor fan and side louvers allow the hot water vapour to leave the tower and expel into the atmosphere, while the cool water flows down and collects in a large basin where it is then sent back through the air conditioning system to be used for cooling. Through this process, there has been some water loss, obviously through evaporation, but also through wind drift and the dumping of some basin water to reduce the amount of build-up of solids that can cause fouling and scaling. What this means is some fresh water needs to be introduced to make up for the loss, and some chemicals are added to prevent fouling, limit scaling, and in turn, decreasing the amount of water that needs to be dumped. The key to all of this is getting the balance right. Well, that gives us a good idea of the principles behind the operation of a cooling tower. And once we understand that, we're in a better position to optimise the performance of the system and therefore save water and energy. For more tips on saving water for your business, visit watercorporation.com.au.